Today I'm visiting our office just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio to see a new transmitter. It's for our radio product line called the GX series and it comes in 10 different models. I'm here with our Vice President of Engineering, Carrie Free. So let's dig into some of the details and find out more about this product line by answering some frequently asked questions. The first one is, is it possible to add a second exciter to this transmitter? Yes, we can add a cable kit uh, as well as a open rack to house the red and exciter. We can also install multiple transmitters in a single rack for co-located stations uh, as well as N plus one systems. So, Kayer, what are some of the options that you might want to consider when looking a little bit deeper with GX? Yeah, so one, one of the options uh, you know, that we have uh, is the Introplex IP Link 100E Codec card that was designed uh, and introduced several years ago specifically for our FM transmitters. Okay. It has the same uh, features and functions as our standard uh, Introplex Codecs that we have added over the years. You know, for example, for reliable transport, we have the dynamic stream splicing in their secure reliable transport protocol SRT and our synchrocast technology is also integrated in there for FM and HD SFN applications and then over the last couple of years we've also added a 10 bed audio processor uh, in, uh, in, in, the, in the Kodak card as well as the ability for our customers uh, to remotely monitor uh, their off-air feed as well as the audio that's been delivered across the SDL directly on their, on their smartphone. And then the other uh, other options are the GPS hardware kit for SFN application. Uh, Dynamic RDS, which is a software uh, feature key, allows the RDS information in the transmitter to be updated dynamically by a remote server. Okay. Uh, and then you all have the obviously the uh, five kilowatt and ten kilowatt optional racks, which, which is what we're looking at here. Five and ten kilowatt options in the same chassis and uh, five rack chassis. Yes, absolutely. So what should we do if uh, we need to replace any parts? How do we take care of that? Yeah, so the main components uh, are field replaceable, serviceable. Okay. Uh, in some cases, you might uh, have to uh, power down the unit. You know, the units that are 2 kilowatt and, and larger have multiple pallets for improved liability. So we use uh, very common power supplies that are accessible uh, down the road if we need replacements. Uh, which power supply does the GX use uh, in this model? Yeah, so uh, GX uh, 3 kilowatt uh, and above, we are going to use hot solving one PA power supplies okay. that are accessible from the front uh, front panel. So if you need to service one of the power supplies, okay. you, can, you can pull them out from the front panel. It's easy to take the front panel out, pull out the power supply and replace it. Similarly, also the fans are also field replaceable. So, Kayer, this is the 5 kilowatt. Uh, what's the difference between the 5 and the 10 kilowatt in the chassis? Yeah, so the chassis is exactly the same. Okay. Uh, the population the options are different. You know, you have power supplies also on this side of the bank as well as uh, uh, fans on this side of the banks. And then if you open the top up, you'll see the pallets on the right side as well. Gotcha. So we have these ones available right now. Will other power levels be released with the current ones? Yeah, so we have a total of 10 models. Okay. Uh, and four of those 10 models have already been released and uh, shipping. The remaining uh, six models will be available in the coming months. So can GX use a USB drive as an emergency backup uh, programming source? Yes, so the GX, what we call the low power GX, which is 50 watts or three and a half kilowatt, okay. has a built-in uh, you know, playlist uh, directly onto the control software, control hardware. For high power GX, uh, five kilowatt and 10 kilowatt, you do need the IP-Link 100E card uh, to be able to accomplish uh, that. Okay. And that's an easy option. Yes, absolutely. That's an easy option. So, Kayer, this is the GX uh, 5 or 10 kilowatt. Can you explain some of the connections that we have available? Yeah, so we have uh, the optional uh, card slots here. This is where you would plug in the Introplex IP Link 100 D card, which we spoke about. Okay. And it has uh, you know, the redundant uh, input, both AES and analog for audio, as well as BNC connectors for 10 megahertz from BPS uh, uh, timing out and SCA uh, you know, signals in. And then we have uh, one and five eight uh, inch RF connector, unflanged, which makes uh, the RF plumbing a lot easier with this uh, depth of the uh, of the, the chassis. And then on the power side, we have uh, an option for uh, you know single phase as well as triple phase uh, uh, connection at no cost to the customer. Okay. And then this is about twenty eight inches deep, so it'll fit into a standard equipment rack pretty easily with uh, some rear rack rail, and you're good to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why does the GX only have an analog output? 
Yeah, so by removing uh, digital uh, radio capabilities such as HD, DRM, CDR, you know, we can pass along the cost savings you know, for end customers, and at the same time, we can also improve the PA efficiency for the analog only operation. Okay, that makes sense. So I love the product here. Um, is there anything that we might have overlooked about GX that you love? Yeah, absolutely. Look, you know, both the GX high power, which is five kilowatt and ten kilowatt, and the low power line of fifty watts, uh, three and a half kilowatt. You know, they have the upgraded control hardware with a lot more processing power. Okay. Which has enabled us uh, to include a lot of new security features and system management. You know, the low power GX line uh, has a very attractive three and a half inch uh, touchscreen front panel display, which is going to make uh, the local management uh, by our customers a lot simpler. I also know that in terms of wiring this up, it's pretty flexible with single or three phase. Yes, absolutely. So at no cost uh, to our customers, we can uh, provide uh, you know wiring options of uh, single phase or uh, three phase. And that can also be integrated into one of our GX racks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. And this is one of our smaller ones? Yes. Uh, touch screen like you talked about, the three and a half inch touch screen? Yes. So, you know, the, the color HD uh, touch screen, uh, which, uh, the rich uh, set of functionalities for configuration and status, you know, to allow the local engineers uh, to be able to control the unit without having the need to open up the smartphone for web interface or the computer for web interface. So, with all those things in mind, we added in a, a bigger display uh, with a lot more feature functionality. Cool. And then this is our actual uh, our GUI, right? Yes, this is the uh, the actual GUI, very rich HTML5 based uh, web interface on the new products as well as our fax line. And uh, the look and feel uh, of this interface uh, is very, very much similar to our TV uh, product line as well as our Interplex product line. We're looking forward to the release of other models in the GX product line. And it's also important to note that our factory in Quincy, Illinois is working hard to make sure that we have these models in stock for a faster delivery in the future.